Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I am just gonna explain how you can integrate the Prometheus matrix within a Grafana tool. You know, uh, to understand how you can install a Grafana in Prometheus, I have already uploaded a YouTube videos uh, for Prometheus, how you can install it and the Grafana on window machine. Uh, so uh, just let me just quickly give you the idea. Uh, I have already explained uh, in my previous video what exactly the Prometheus and what exactly the Grafana is, you know. Uh, so these are the tools which basically used for monitoring, you know, the servers uh, or the production like environments or the computer and all those stuff, right. Prometheus seems to be the best option, you know, when it comes to capturing the various data points and various matrices. And Grafana provides, you know, the very user-friendly uh, visualize, visualization of the data points which are being captured by Prometheus, right? And Grafana has the, you know, provided, you know, the integration with a lot of other time series based databases, you know, where the data points get, get stored uh, at, at, at the timestamp label, right? And why it is needed to have a time series data because, you know, uh, monitoring is something which we need to take care of, you know, the various attributes and various defined data points to capture at the, based on the you know, time is progressing, right? So it's really important for, you know, the DevOps guy or the production support guy to just keep looking at the, you know, the trend, how the various attributes are trending, right? And based on that, they can predict what exactly gonna happen within the servers or the production environments or any other thing which they are supposed to just monitor. So that just gives them, you know, the the information like, I mean, if there is something going to, something is really going to make the system or the server down, they can easily sense that and accordingly they can take the required action for that, right? So there are a lot of, a uh, lot of monitoring tool, but the Grafana and Prometheus seems to be more promising as compared to the others. Prometheus is very good in pro collecting a metrics and top of it, it is also provide, you know, the visualization of data points, but those visualization uh, is happening on the console template, uh, which is not that user friendly, but when it comes to the Grafana, is, Grafana is more user friendly in terms of showing those, you know, the data points and you, user can easily, you know, configure them. Right. So I have already talked about, you know, the monitoring tool components. The two basic components are the time series data points collection and the visualization logic. Right. So, so, so just collectively Grafana and Prometheus is the complete solution for doing that. <coughs> right. So let me just quickly how you can integrate the Prometheus uh, as a data source within a Grafana and how you can just actually capture the data points uh, in a Grafana for just showing what exactly happening with the different, different attributes. So let me quickly just uh, show you how can we do that. Uh, let me just quickly check uh, whether uh, the things are happening correctly. Uh, local host uh, since you know the Grafana runs on 3000 by default so it should not be showing anything uh, because you know the, the, the Grafana is not yet uh, started for, on my window machine so to, for starting that what I have to do I have to go into the bin uh, so no need to worry about all these steps that I have already covered in my previous video now if I just click on not on 3000 but by default I just configure my Grafana on 8989 uh, usually it runs uh, on 3000 3, port but in windows we need a specific privilege for doing that so that's why I just configured on 8989 and in my video I've already shown how you can do that. Similarly uh, the Prometheus by default run on 8989 port so it's not yet uh, oh sorry <laughs> uh, I just obsessed with that. 1990 uh, so Prometheus runs by default on 1990 so it's not yet running so I will be getting this error okay no issues so let me quickly make the Prometheus server up so yeah it's ready to receive the web request let me just quickly go there yeah it's working now okay so let me just see uh, so as I mentioned Prometheus has a lot of inbuilt matrix see these are the matrix which I can easily capture the data for right and so Execute, you can select anyone and you can just take out the graph out of it. It's not showing anything. Okay. Let me just check the another default. Okay. Let me see if I have something. Yeah, I can see something here. So let me just reduce the time so that we can see. Yeah. See, this is how it looks like on Prometheus. But same thing if I just look on the Grafana, let's see how it looks like on Grafana. 
So the very first thing what you have to do, you have to come here on this, right? Configure, add the data source. I have already added them, but let me just quickly show you how you can add the new data source. Uh, let me just give Prometheus 2. You can give any name. And the type you have to select Prometheus, right? Uh, on which port it is running. It is running on localhost. And which port is 9090. Okay. That's it. Uh, save and test. Yeah, data source added. Data source is working. Okay, so data source has been added. Now you have to come here, click on dashboard, click on graph, click on add it. So, I mean, how you can use Grafana for that, I'll be creating a new video where I'll be explaining you how you can utilize the feature, but just understand how it happens, you know, how we can integrate any data source, specifically the Prometheus in this, right? So for Prometheus, uh, this is the matrix. Uh, so Grafana has specifically uh, created, you know, the integration with Prometheus where you can just take out any of the matrix from the Prometheus. And uh, here in the query section, you know, uh, before that, you have to select the data source. Uh, data source is Prometheus 2, right? And the matrix name, you have to write it here. And query inspector will give you, okay, data is there, right? It's showing something is here, but it's called Live 6 r so we are not able to see that. Let me quickly get the fill. See, this is how it looks like on Grafana, and this is how it looks like on Prometheus. And uh, in Prometheus, you don't see anything through which you can just configure them, right? But in, con in, in Grafana, you have all those stuff, right? Legend, display alert, time range. In Excel, there are a lot of features which you can utilize. Here also, you can add multiple queries uh, here, right? You can add another query if you want. Uh, let me quickly check if I can get some more information for HTTP, what I'm getting. I have something. Let me see if I have anything. Yeah, I do have. Uh, so it means I can add this one as well. Okay, so let me quickly add this query inspector. Okay, see now I can see some different charts and and through here we can I can just remove them and I can specifically check the you know the if I wanted to see the specific data related to anything right. So these are the things which are you know very friendly in Grafana. And there are a lot of information like access, legion, display, and alert, and time range you can easily configure by just going through that. And there is very good user manual on the Grafana website which you can utilize. Uh, so that's it from my side. And there are a lot of information if you really need, if you are really interested, just uh, give me the uh, give me the feedback. What exactly you want to learn from the Prometheus and a Grafana? And I'll be trying to come up with a video to just explain that in a very simple words. Happy learning and keep watching these kind of videos. And my intention is to just help all the new beginners, all the professional, all the experienced professional to make their life easy so that they can be more productive in their day-to-day -day work. So thank you for watching this. And if you have any feedback or comment, please feel free to put in a section in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to incorporate them in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. That's it from my side for now.